Hello and welcome back at Transgroom TV. This video series is about how to maintain your dog's coat at home. Here we have this very cute puppy. His name is Toby and he's 10 months old and we are going to start now with brushing, washing and everything you can do at home. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can wash your dog at home uh, in your own bathroom. Um, it's very important that you shower the dog and yet you not put the dog in a, a tub full of water, but you have to shower your dog. We recommend to wash your dog two times. So the first time it's with a cleaning shampoo to take all the dirt off, to take all the oils from the skin and make the coat and the skin very clean. So you can use a second shampoo and this shampoo is very depending on what dog you have, what coat has the dog, is um, the, the coat of the dog in a good health or does it need more moisturizing or does it need more volume. So this depends on the coat and your dog and what the coat asks for. For the first shampoo, for this puppy, we are using the Pro Super Clean 40. This shampoo is really for cleaning the coat, it's not for moisturizing, it's for really have a clean coat and a clean skin. And for the second shampoo, I'm going to use the Showtech Herbal. The first thing you need to do is make the dog's hair wet. I start always um, with the back because water is from up to down, so I don't start below. Um, and at the last I do his head. I put my finger before the eyes. I take the Showtech foaming sponge. I use this because it gives you a lot of foam. So I take the shampoo and I put it on the dog's coat. And I wash it with my fingers and I use the top of my fingers. I don't use my nails because this can hurt the dog, especially if you have longer nails. But I use the fingers, the top of my fingers and I really massage on the skin. So I really put it very deep in the coat and I'm sure that you wash or that you can wash or that you can reach the dog skin. So don't do it like this, but really I use a, a little bit of pressure, not too much but that the skin is really clean and that's the really most important thing when you start washing your dog's coat with the first shampoo. And you see the foam is getting a little bit gray or a little bit brown and this is all the dirt that's coming off from the skin and from the coat. I always take the same structure for washing the dog. I start at the back, I do the back leg, I do the body, I do the front leg, I turn my dog, again the back, the back leg, between the toes, the tummy, the front leg. So you don't forget any spot of washing your dog and everything will be clean. Again, I put my finger before the eyes. And this I do with one finger. If you, don't, if you have a large dog, you can use two or three fingers. But if you have a small dog, like this dog, like Toby, I put my hand on his coat 
and I use just one finger to do this very gently. But also this must be very clean. To rinse the dog, I start at the back. Because all the shampoo and all the dirt is going on the downside of his body. So don't start at his legs and then find your way back up. No, you start at the back and everything, every dirt, every shampoo, you rise up. I put my finger before the eyes. If you rinse the head, please don't put your shower head in the nose or in the eyes. This is for the first shampoo, so now the dog's coat and skin is really clean and you always have to use a second shampoo to moist the coat or to give volume. For this puppy, for this dog, I will use the Showtech Herbal. Why you have to dilute the most shampoos? Because dog shampoos are really concentrated. If you use them pure without diluting them, um, it can cause a lot of um, uh, irritations on the skin. Please dilute most of the shampoos. So now we're going to use the second shampoo for this dog. Um, we will do exactly the same as the first wash. Uh, we start with the same structure, so washing the back, washing the back legs, the tummy, the front legs, and at last the head. So it's just the same thing as the first wash. Always use a condition because this will moisturize your coat, keep it in a good health, in a good shape. Um, it will be easier to brush, it will be easier to dry. For Toby, I'm using the Sheltec Ultimate Conditioning Mask because it's a really intense mask. Um, the coat, it's a puppy coat, it's a really soft coat. It will give you, uh, on the legs, a lot of volume and it will moist the coat at the same time. So I put a little bit of the mask on my hands. I rub it in my hands so I don't have a lot of conditioner at one place and I gently massage the mask through the hair. Most dogs enjoy this because it's, it's a, a, an intense wellness time. You can spoil him in the meantime. Always let the conditioner leave at least about five minutes on the dog. Give the conditioner, give the product the time to use, to do his job and to do his job properly. Uh, so don't rise it immediately, but leave it. What you can do at home is take a towel and put the towel on the dog. And you can start rinsing the mask of the conditioner of the coat. For now, we are done with washing the dog and um, we can start drying. Thank you for watching this informative videos at Transform TV. Keep your dog happy and clean.